Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Georgina. It's very nice to meet you guys uh, over the internet. As you know that DFI do have a uh, lot of the, the standard products. So today's webinar is to let our gaming uh, a customer know that how to select right products for your gaming terminals. So here is the agenda. We have two sections for today's webinar. The first one is about analyzing the different gaming devices in terms of free market. And the second part is to introduce the, um, the suitable DFI products for the different gaming terminals. And by roughly defining gaming industry, it can be categorized into three, three segments, the lottery, arcade, and the casino. Okay, so we start with the first, uh, the first gaming market, la the lottery. And the two major gaming, ter uh, ter the terminals for the lottery market is post alike, um, uh, the post alike machine. And the second one is the self-help. A kiosk, as a so-called the, the lottery vending machine. Okay, so if we look into a lottery post machine, there are the um, some um, there are some key parts. The first part is a fifteen inch or a fifteen uh, six pin, uh, inch. The, the touch panel and modules. And the second part is a small size the main board. And the third part is a, a, re, a, a relatively complicated the reader module, which includes a motor, a reader board, and a CS module. And sometimes plus a buckle scanner. When the three key modules are all uh, installed together in a chassis and all connected um, by cables, with the other parts uh, like the power supply, the payment terminal, it turned into a lottery, um, a post machine. Okay, and a new generation of vending machine usually requires two or three, the small sized um, attached panels and of course, a main board to drive all parts um, work. Apart from the main board, the vending machine needs a logic board uh, as well. Although I don't really know that how it works, but I know it's something related to, to, to the, the security functions. The other key parts like the power module and the payment terminals and the motors are all um, put together and connected by cables. Plus uh, the other parts like the LED strip, the cash box, the bill, uh, um, bill acceptor, the cash uh, acceptor, etc., are all assembled into a big, a big metal, and that's how a vending machine being produced. Okay, and now we move on to the next gaming market. Arcade. And the structure of an arcade machine is a, a, a bit like a vending machine, except the motor part. There are many kinds of the arcade machine, and they can range from the kids' play machine in the amusement park to a very com complicated dar darts machine in bars. And we see the next uh, slide. This is a drawing of an arcade machine. The function of an arcade machine is to let people to have fun. So it needs a lot of the LED effects to make the machine look attractive. So the LED strip is very important part to the arcade machine. Then we see that in the, the middle part of the cabinet, it's the display. It can be 24 inch and like the 27 inch or even bigger for games, which require very large size panel. And the bottom part have the most of the parts here, like the speakers, the, the cash box, the bill, acceptor, the cash uh, acceptor, the meters, and which are a link to the PC box and by cables. And of course, if it's a higher class uh, arcade machine, like the Dart machine, 
then the RK design can be far more complicated than the typical one. Okay, and the next gaming market is casino. In casino, there are very um, there are some kinds of the gaming devices, such as the table games, the roulette wheels. But today, we only focus on the slot machine, since it's the most it uh, is the most common one in casino. Slot machine become um, more slimmer compared to the old design. I guess because of the casino, um, they want to place as much uh, as many machines as possible to make more money. So from the picture that you can see the space for the PC box inside of the cabinet become quite small, but the PC still needs to be powerful enough to drive all the system parts like the speakers, the joystick, the I button, the meters, the bill acceptor, the cache uh, acceptor and the player tracker and displays all can function, all can function well. And there's one thing quite special about the slot machine that the government across the different countries request the slot machine should have a security mechanism to prevent from intrusion and a program, um, a storage device to store all the machine at, uh, activities with correct day and time. So uh, the what's more is that the PSD need to be detected when any, um, when any errors, um, when any, uh, when any errors happen, and to comply with the such requirement, it need a separate logic processor to do the works, to track the machines, um, all the event logs. And even if the PC is power off, all the data still can be found in the memory without any loss in 30 days. And of course, VDFI can deliver um, this kind of product for the slot machine market. Okay, so now we finish the first section and we come to the most interesting part, which is to introduce DFI's products for the different gaming market. Okay, so from the earlier introduction about the lottery terminals, if you still remember that, we mentioned about the small size main board. One of the DFI on the strength is that we have the rise of the small main board from 1.8 1 inch to 4 inch. And it's not possible to go through all products, so I pick up three types. Here I introduce three 3.5 inch main boards because I think the size is quite good for a post machine. And the first one is CS551 and which is equipped with Intel's 9th and 8th um, um, the generation CPU. And in this small size board, we have abundant IO ports to let you connect with the different peripherals. And it also provides one LVDS port for the touch panel and a SATA port for the storage. If, if you don't need such a high-end CPU, we have uh, the ATOM product as well, which is AL553. And it's the uh, Apollo Lake, um, the CPU. And if you don't like Intel, we still have the AMD um, the solution, which is very, um, uh, uh, which is 1000 and our, and our current C CPU. The three boards are small, but they are very strong. Okay. And of course, not only the main boards, we DFI also can deliver uh, the touch panel solutions for our customers. Our, um, the 15.6 touch panel is very popular in the market and our KSM um, new products come with the, the 15 inch um, a touch panel as well. Okay, and for the, men, uh, the vending machine market, it uses the middle size main board and we can deliver as many choices uh, as our the small size main board. And because I don't want to, to bore you guys, so I suggest that you can just can go through the DFI's 
the website for the mini ITX and the micro ATX member products. And if you have any question, just, just uh, you can send us um, your emails. And as for the DFIS products for the RK machines, it really depends on uh, which kind of the applications that the RK uh, work for. If it's a very simple um, a function, the gaming, uh, the gaming machine, I believe that our small sized members, the GH with the AMD Ryzen CPU is perfect for this kind of the, the RK machine. Um, for example, in the slide, GHF51 provides very rich IOs for gaming peripherals, the storage, and it also can support four LCD um, um, displays. On the other hand, if you, are if you are looking for the Intel CPU, we DFI also can provide you varieties um, um, a choice, which could be micro ATX or a mini ATX form factor. Besides, we also can, de we can deliver all-in-one PC box with different the chassis size and it can save our, um, our customers time to look for the, the different parts for the PC. So you can see that ST102 is the PC box with Intel's um, the CPU. And the DT122 is with the AMD the solution. And they are all very po um, popular among our old customers. Okay. So finally, we will spend some time to talk about DFI's gaming products for the salon machine. As described, um, we, uh, ca the casino regulators demand the salon machine must can track the event logs, which include game history, the, the record data, the intrusion, and the game state, coin token, and the, the hop arrows. And this requires the PC inside of the gaming machine needs an the extra lo the logic function to do all the works. And we DFI, we design a standalone FPGA IO board, which can be incorporated with any, uh, any a main board with P PCIe slot. So you can see that GM901 is such a product for the gambling market with 32 DI and DO and eight intrusions, the GM901's NVRAM data can be, can be saved for the five years when power off. And you see that in the slide, one of the uh, DFI's, the gaming system products is GM901 with the micro ATX main board. And our, the customer can choose that with or without the video card, the power supply, and, the, and the, the storage. So we turn that GM831 becomes a very, um, very good PC box in our the product line. And it will be launched in the, in the next season. And one of the good, um, one of the good thing to selecting GM831 is that in the future, if you want to um, to, to upgrade your PC when keeping all the PC parts, you only need to replace the old main board and with the, the new one. Besides, our gaming products come with the SDK. So if you buy our products, uh, the gaming product with the gaming features, then you can download the SDK from the internet. And we also can provide you that all the all the documents to guide you that how to develop your own app with our API tools. And of course, if you still uh, have any question about the API tools, we can provide the, the services to you to build the, the, the app.
Okay, and then for the customer who is looking for the compact, light, but still for the gaming functions, RGN330 and GM341 are really well um, um, I recommend it. GM341 uses AMD, um, the CPU coming with very high graphic performance and can support two four um, at, at this place at most. And also GM341 has the same gam gaming I.O. as the GM901. And one of our unique, the, me the, me the mechanical design have the GN341 all I.O. ports being, um, uh, which it can be plugged and uh, very, uh, very easily. So it's very convenient to the customer to do the cable assembly. And you can see that the, the chassis, uh, which is very thin, so which is very good for the, the slim top um, a slot machine. Okay, so all of my introduction of how to select appropriate um, the products for the gaming for the gaming terminals come to the end. And I appreciate uh, your patience to lessen all of this. And if you have any question, you can leave your um, the questions on the chat room. So there's no any question. Okay, so thank you all. And uh, I really appreciate your pa um, all your patience. And if you have any question, you can write an email to me. Okay. Okay. Um, may I know that, uh, have you bought any of our gaming products? Have you bought uh, any, the like the GM300 for uh, F41 or GM330 from our company? If you have that one and you don't have the, and you ha don't have the, do the, do the document, I can send that to you. Oh, sure, okay. Do I just write my, okay. She needs my email. So should I just, I, should I leave my email address in the chat room or? Because we have to the customer need to know the email or we will see. Or I just put that on the slides. Because you will, you will to pop, you will pop to pop to publish the slides on the internet, right? We just record oh, it. You just, you just, website. you only have the voice, right? Yeah. So, but he had the email, so we probably can answer his question. Okay. Okay, I will answer your questions um, by the email. I saw your, email. Uh, I have your the email address. Okay. Okay, and for um, to Andrea and uh, to Andrea's um, your question about the documentations, if if you buy our product and you don't have the documents, you can let us know, and I can send that to you. Okay, you are not interested in the P PCI card, so you preferred uh, you are you are interested in the PCIe car. Okay, I see. You like the GN901, right? Okay, um, sure. I will write you the email and see what you need and provide that to you, okay?
okay, okay. I just see your request and I will write you the email. Okay, so can I know that are you the customer or do you work for the gaming field? Okay, oh, I see. Sure. Yeah, sure. I got your email and I will write you the email, okay? Okay, so. Okay. Thank you, Andres. Yeah. Thank you all. Um, so, okay. So just I got all your uh, all the messages and for the for the customer um, who need who need to answer, I will write you the emails. So thank you very much. And uh, today we we end here. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye bye.